Hi, welcome back. Alright, so continuing to move forward with the drumline battery instruments, we're going to focus on the tenor line in this video. Uh, so there's a few ideas that are kind of unique to the instrument, uh, switching to puffies and crossover note heads. Uh, but the first thing I want to touch on is the idea that I mentioned before with the baseline instrument, that all of the battery drum instruments actually share the same right and left hand note heads for hits, rim shots, rims, and a few other things. So I'm, what I'm actually going to do is select this first measure of the snare line part, hold down Alt, copy it on down. Now if I hit P to play back just the tenor line part, you can actually hear the right and left hand note heads, so that's very cool. All right, I'm going to hit Y to bring it back to the beginning and escape out of this. Now if I select this first note, I can actually use my arrow keys on the keyboard uh, up and down to switch pitch and right and left to switch between the notes uh, horizontally. And you're, you're still going to get the right and left hand sounds. They're just mapped to different, uh, different parts of the stage. So you can actually see out there on the notes uh, panel on the right, we're getting the different right and left hand note heads. So that's very cool. All right. Let's go ahead and add a different part for here, for this second mark. I'm going to hit N to go into note entry mode. Let's do a little Latin timbali triplet thing. Now I'm going to hit Command 3, or it would be Control 3 to go into triplets. Hold down Shift, go back to the left with my arrow keys. I'm going to go to my fourth keypad layout. Give it those marcato accents. Now I'll select here. Let's give it a nice little double stop. I just hit both notes at the same time there. That might be a nice big double stop depending on how, how loudly you decide to play it. And here we're going to enter as an eighth note rest, then left, right, left. So if you were to actually play through that as left, right, left, that would be a crossover. So if you wanted to notate that using the a crossover note head, you could select that note, then come over here and choose 37 for the right hand or 38 for the left hand. I'm actually going to use the keyboard shortcut, uh, which is Shift, Alt, and then hit the numbers in a row. Here it would be 37, so I'll just hit 3, then 7. All right, there you go. Right hand crossover. And I'll go ahead and add an accent onto that. Now, let's have this guy switch from, actually, let's have him start on puffies, and then he's going to switch back to mallets. Uh, he's going to freeze time right here at this bar line, then switch back over to mallets. All right, so first we're going to select our bar, go up to Create, Text, Technique. Now you'll see that cursor starting to flash. It's kind of obscured by the playback line, but I'll just type puffies. Now if I double escape out of that and play back here, All right, so everything except the shot, uh, they didn't sample puffies with shots. Uh, I guess a whole lot, not a whole lot of people are going to write shotted puffies, um, if that's the proper way to say that. Now here, uh, we actually want to have him, as I said, uh, he's just going to shift time. I'm going to hit Command T. Uh, I could come back up to text and say, uh, click on Technique Text, but I'm actually going to hit Command T, just a little bit quicker, and type Regular. Then double escape out. Now if I play this back, cool, so you actually heard it uh, with the exception of this shot and these shots, um, we're, we're able to distinctly hear the difference from one bar to the next. So alright, that's it for this particular video. Stick around, next time we'll cover the ideas of buzz rolls for the battery instruments and crushes. So we'll see you then.